What's up, everyone? Brian, real hard fishing. Let's go uh, check out what's in the mill. Been waiting on this to get here. It wasn't supposed to be until Saturday, but it came early. So, uh, let's see. Oh, what is that? Hmm. Yeah, check that out. Bad fish. Do a little unboxing video on this bad boy. Kind of like a mystery tackle box, but it's from a different company. Mystery tackle box sucks. Yeah, girl. So I got the uh, first mate box. They have the first mate and they have the captain's box. It's the cheaper version is $29.95. Um, if you use Fishaholic's um, code, Fishaholic, you actually get, uh, uh, I think it's ten dollars off of your first purchase or something like that so it was only $19.99 or something for this but uh let's go check it out all right let's see what we got here all right so they make it look really good on youtube Or uh, Facebook, sorry. But doesn't everything? I'm gonna open up and show y'all first. I don't even know what's in there yet. Alright, so there it is. Let's see. Alright, already I see something cool. A bunch of good stuff in there. I might just keep the subscription. Alright, so they send you a uh, little thing here to uh, tell you exactly what's in the box. Kind of like Mr. Tackle Box. Look at that sticker. They even send you a koozie. Now that's nice. I like that right there. That's pretty cool. Alright. Lots of good stuff in here. First off, Yozuri Pencil. I've been looking at these at Walmart. These are $8 at Walmart. Um, and I like that color. Chartreuse. Very good color. Uh, where is that at? Yozuri. $10 MSRP, which it's basically correct. Any other way you go, if you go to a bait shop or anywhere, that's going to be at least 10 bucks. All right. Mustard jig heads. Those are nice. Three aught, quarter ounce. Perfect. I like those. Bad fish, bad shrimp. It's kind of like um, the voodoo shrimp. We'll open that up and check that out in a second. I got voodoo shrimp too. And, uh, let's see if this is made out of TPE or not. Uh, does not say whether it's TPE. Just... Alright, so we'll check that out in a little bit. And this is really sick. I have never seen one of these. I'm very anxious to use this. A live target hybrid shrimp. I have never seen that. That is a new one for me. I definitely got to open that up and check that one out. That's cool. And some more paddle tails. Kind of resemble a um, pinfish color. That's pretty neat. And then one last thing that comes in here. Four inch purple cactus. And then... A neat little flag. I don't have a, my, got my boat anymore. That's something I gotta do. I gotta and start tearing my boat apart. That's cool. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna stick with the subscription for a while here. Oh wow. Let me give you a recipe. That's cool. And then a little pamphlet for helping keep the ocean clean. And the seasoning. That is nice. That's cool, man. I'm definitely going to stick with this. That's awesome. All right. So let's open up this bad fish shrimp here. And it does appear like it might be made out of TPE. That's nice. That's just like the um, voodoo shrimp, except this is on a weighted um, 
swim bait hook and the uh, voodoo shrimps on a jig head type hook. That's cool. Alright. I'm definitely anxious to use these lures. So yeah, uh, I would highly recommend the Bad Fish uh, Tackle Box over the Mystery Tackle Box any day. I think it's way, way better uh, value for your money. And I am very, very anxious to use this Prism Pen Fish. Or fit that. Finish, sorry. Top knot pencil floating. Chartreuse. I love this is this is sick. Alright, so anyways, um final conclusion. Awesome. Highly recommend them. Check them out. Bad fish. Uh, you can find them on um, Facebook too, I believe it is. So anyways, we out. Real quick, after the uh, little unboxing video, my wife's out here burning, and uh, <laughs> stupid neighbors call the fire department because of smoke. So now what I'm gonna do is burn even more just to just to make them even more ticked off. So I'm gonna get a barrel, and we're gonna pile up in a barrel, and I'm gonna make the biggest smoke that I've ever made in my yard ever. So y'all stick around. Update everyone. Whew. On the burn pit or pile. So, oh, I'm fix my shoot pieces here. I'm behind my foot. Ah, okay. Nope, still not fixed. Ah, come on. Okay, that's good. So, Approximately 50 feet from the roadway on top of bare soil. Cleaned all the debris from around the burn pit. So now it is sitting on top of bare soil. It's like they say in the pamphlet. So let's go show y'all what the pamphlet says now. Let's see if that looks it's 25 feet in the house. And so the pamphlet says, it's my door too. Oh man, where's the light? All right. So the container, clear an area to bare soil and remove all flammable materials, including grass, from a round pile to prevent the fire from spreading, which I've done. Pile cannot exceed eight feet in diameter. Pile is greater than eight feet in diameter. Most contact forestry. Or container, or contain your fire in a non-combustible metal barrel. This helps contain a burn pile to one specific area. Citizens must use caution even when using burn barrels. The setbacks, 50 feet from neighboring buildings, which I am, 50 feet from the public roadways, which I am, and 25 feet from your home and your other buildings and forest brush, which I am. So I should be legit, I think. Oh no, there's some more brush around there. We'll see.